item crown how on a day waiting there happen waiting this up welcome back to our channel the federal government has been waiting for unam de Kano to make a mistake they've been waiting for him for two good years to just make that mistake and what am I trying to say? I got the report this morning that Unamde Kano has been on, that the federal government rather has been on Unamde Kano's trail for two years. Now for two years, they've been waiting for him to make that just one mistake. And finally, they, they caught him in Kenya. I mean, imagine how obsessed they are, you know, about Unamde Kano. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Well, not funny, really. Now, Lai Mohamed said that the federal government has vowed that it will not spare anyone who collaborated with Kano. He also said that Unamdi Kano lived a five-star life across several countries, traveling on chartered um, private jets, living in luxury apartments, and turning out in designer clothes and shoes. Guys, let me know what you think about this but does this really in this statement is it really matter or you guys just want to you know apprehend or like punish this man it will interest nigerians to know that for over two years our security and intelligence agencies were on the trail of the proscribed IPOB leader as he lived a five-star life across several countries, traveling on chartered private jets, living in luxurious apartments, and turning out in designer clothes and shoes. Of course, as we all saw, he was arrested wearing an attire made by Fendi, a luxury Italian fashion brand. You know, now, we heard the news about the government, you know, arresting Unamde Kano. Okay. And immediately after the news about Unamde Kano, Sunday Ubo's house was invaded by this military man. What does that tell you? 2023 is on its way. You know, the election is coming. You're campaigning. Secondly, Sunday Boho, I think, said he's going to come to Lagos as well. And you know, the crowd will be intense. He went to Ekiti the other day. So coming to Lagos is like a, like a huge, a big deal for the federal government. Because they know that will, you know, make a, a huge difference. Because we're talking about a commercial city like Lagos. And also, with the news will even spread wider than, you know, um, it was. Um, so they felt intimidated they felt like you know sunday boho um might just be doing too much so the best thing is to take him down and of course remember i said the 2023 election as well now guys i said it right from the beginning also going back to you know the kind of, you know arrest that he was blindfolded right there was a report out there but we didn't see like a convincing video at that time but now the video is out Let us focus on Sunday Igboho. So sad. The DSS released a statement saying that yes, they confirmed the attack. Yes, we are behind it. Remember, I said that um, Channel's News reported this case saying unknown gunmen. I saw it in another news platform that these guys are actually, you know, military guys. They are from the Nigerian army. They are sent by the Nigerian government. Well, they finally confirmed that and they declared him wanted. They said these guys wanted, they held a, a press conference <laughs> because of this, <laughs> right? It is also to appraise state mother that the fight taken for seven rifles, about rifles recovered from the building, are suspected to be those collected by Ipolo from Nigerian customs and Nigerian. 
They killed two of Igbo's men. In fact, here is I should be able to put one of the guys their picture. I should be able to put it around um, here. Yeah, I should be able to put it here. Now, they killed two. They arrested six because they met like eight people there. And they, I mean, you're there to arrest someone. They destroyed almost everything in the house. They destroyed the car. Like it's why? You said you want to go and arrest this. I mean, we have the Fulani leaders, we have the kidnappers. The Fulani leaders are there watching their counterparts, you know, killing, kidnapping. They didn't call them to order. You guys didn't arrest the leader that talked to your guys. No. But people like Sunday Boho and, um, you know, Nabdi Kano are the, the threats. Um, you know, it's, if you look at it, if you try to weigh this thing, you just see that it really doesn't make sense. Now let me say that if the federal government have demonstrated capacity and can arrest Nandi Kano, they should also exhibit the same zeal and will and decision to arrest these Fulani herdsmen that are terrorizing our state and our country. Let that be done. These ones are living here with us, but if Nandi Kano can be arrested from a foreign land, I believe that if federal government will exhibit the same way, they will arrest Fulani Hesmen, especially Mayor Kiala, who have owned up to the killings in Bebe State and have continued to terrorize our land. It is laughable and unfortunate when I heard that Mayor Kiala are calling Nandi Kano a terrorist, someone who is fighting for the liberation of his people is being called a terrorist by terrorist organization called Mayati Allah and Fulani Hesmen. So federal government should rise up to its responsibility and arrest this one. I have no problem in trying Nandi Kano. Due process should be followed and let there be justice. If he has committed any offense, let there be justice. But the federal government must also do justice by arresting Fulani Hens men who have been terrorizing our land. You know, Nigerian soldiers not only arrest six people, yeah, they actually arrested a cat. Yes, a cat. <laughs> Hoping that the, the cat will turn into Sunday Igboho because they believe that that cat is Sunday Igboho and you know he turned into cat to escape the arrest but they had to like <laughs> now guys uh, let me read the items they recovered from him his passport was there you know international passport uh, also seven AK-47 um, assault rifles um, three pump action guns 30 fully charged AK-47 magazines, 5,000 rounds of 7.62 mm ammunition, five cutlasses, and one jackknife. And they said that we advise Sunday Boho to turn himself in now, else. <laughs> well, that's what they said. Exactly what they said. So, around one thirty here, I just gave place, uh, spray place in my, in, in the front, gun spot in front of my house. Papa, oh, papa, papa, papa. Sunday will come out. We are DSS. We are soldier. We are do this. Ah. So, and now, I took crew in the window. I saw them, uh, with uniform, DSS uniform and, uh, soldier, Nigerian army. Hmm. So I was, uh, uh, I was, I was surprised that uh, what is 
problem. Because I never kill anybody, I never fight with anybody. Uh, what I'm uh, what I'm doing is to fight for my people. Then all the rally I'm doing is the peaceful rally. Yeah. So I fight for my for my family because all the Fulani bandits kill my family, rape them, uh, kidnap them, take ransom from them. Yeah. So that I know. Some go uh, government refuse to do the right thing for my family. That's why I come out to support my family to fight for our rights. So I was surprised. Hmm. So you were in the house this morning when they came. Yes. So uh, we saw that we saw blood on the on the ground. We saw that uh, were people killed. How many people were taken away? If people were taken away. Yes, uh, they, they killed. There was a two guy. There, there, there are two guys at the kill around uh, two o'clock in the morning. When something too much, so then he destroyed all my property, destroyed all my people, all my houses, all the property I have. I have like a two million. Inside my uh, wardrobe. I want to put on this or anything on pass. For now, I will in a part in Yara. Yara, but I know it. There is. To bring to bring a pull up. To bring to bring a pull up. There is. I will go be by. Go be by no day. Go be by anyway. I won't force you. I will. Oh, you bunny, yo. I want you all. I like to go. I want Jacko, you are. I'll tell you, I like to go, Jacko, you are. I can only see who come, but I'll come long. I'll receive who call. We pay. I'll say, oh, I look it. You go, I look it. Oh, 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 Okay, guys, that is it. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Let us give, you know, that a break. Let's talk about Davido and his um, guys. Now, Special Spesh said, you know, posting Davido's picture saying, Bades is with me and he is okay. They will only try, but they will never break him. The mission, the goal, the motivation and the skin is different. What is it trying to say? Sometimes I just think special, special special talks anyhow. Who is breaking who? Sometimes, you know, it's just better to write RIP and shut up. But there was another thing he said recently about Obama DMW. He said he never forgave Obama and he unfollowed Obama even after Obama asked him to follow back, but he refused to. Like they were stubborn. That's amazing you know him being real you know he said so i speak true as a real okay i know i was extreme and never forgive you or followed you back all the times you asked but in the last three years you grew and saw my angle of reason thoughts and goals you were true to the team we're two stubborn guys it was always love though just that we stood on different sides with different approaches and different backgrounds which we were stuck in everyone loved and loves you till we meet again that um is special special by the way here we have baba ijesha tampan president mr latin apologizes for Jide Kosoko's threats to frustrate Yabojo and Nkechi Blessing. Remember, 
in the video, in the previous one of the previous videos, I said that him saying that it's going to frustrate them in the industry doesn't make sense. Well, good thing that you know these elders uh, realized their mistake and they came back to apologize. Now, after that, that uh, after that, uh, Nkichi Blessing and Yabojo came out to apologize as well. That's maturity right there. Mommy, wa emagbo. I want to buy my soko. Taba mo nku jide ko soko. Mo mo is a very good man. I bail anybody. Even I want the yabo ojo anko. Mo mo everybody mo. Shugba ti binu ba ti de. Ato tu ato si binu ba ti de. So onku jide o me ne be. Eri kubasi soro ye. Mo tu pada. Yeah, but then you don't sir. Eh mo mo. Mo tu akpada lese kese ipe. To mo ye ba ti wow. I'm a fan one more out because on more one new one. So on behalf of Jideko Soko, I apologize. On behalf of Jideko Soko, I apologize. On behalf of Tampan. That's fine. That's okay. But did Jide Kosoko release a statement after that? And he said exactly what I said in the video saying that the conference meeting wasn't held because they're supporting Babai Jesha. And it's because um, Nkechi Blessing and Yabo Ujo called them out and kept abusing them and also the, the organization, the Tampan organization. So they said that they are, are not supporting and they will never support babai jesha it's just the derogatory um words that's uh, yabojo and um you know Nketi blessing used against them okay guys moving on to the next news here we have a black mailer right this guy right here is 25 years old now you'll be shocked what he did well I just want to say this a blackmailer will never stop collecting money from you if you don't stop them and i don't mean killing them right just like what this person did call the police you know and arrest the guy all right and they, they trace the guy and arrest him right this guy keeps demanding for money from this lady every two weeks extorted over seven million from her and that is because he's got the lady's nude pictures now the first time he threatened the lady he requested for two hundred thousand naira which the lady sent immediately and afterwards it's been asking requesting for money after that now the money is like seven million over seven million that this guy has collected so far from this woman extorted so far from this woman in fact to the extent that the woman said that she started contemplating suicide because this is too much well they successfully traced this suspect to his hideout in ibadan or your state where he was apprehended and if you checked or you um investigate the matter or you follow up the story you realize that this guy might just be using everything to buy drinks you know going to clubs um staying in a hotel like pay for like you know four star or five star hotel and stay there for like a year, um months you know but on interrogation this guy confessed now the report was silent or you know about how the guy got her nude pictures the report was silent on that and that's what people are asking like how did this guy how did he get your pictures anyways guys let's move straight to the next one i'm gonna read this Three friends were rushed to the hospital. Two couldn't make it. The one that made it was in a coma and died two days later as a result of liver failure. They overdosed on paracetamol. How is it even possible? It's paracetamol. What really went on? Let me explain. So this guy explained it. Just listen closely. They went to the club. They couldn't lay their hands on Tramadol. So they decided to try out Paracetamol as it is cheap and also had pain relieving properties and easily available. So they bought cards of Paracetamol, emptied it in like a Sarah drink to speed up the drug's effect. They drank and partied. But when they were done, the Paracetamol was just getting started. The three of them slumped and had to be rushed to the hospital. Two died that night. The other struggled, but his liver still failed and he died. 
taking large doses of paracetamol in a day is already dangerous now putting it in a carbonated drink even makes it more damaging okay well that is just um the story right so guys say no to drugs and substance abuse such an interesting story well let's move straight to the next one since the news about the super tv boss we've been hearing you know different opinions on social media interviews people talking about these things reactions on social media mixed reactions on social media now here we have Mora, your your view you know on tvc um she said that is there a way a man can respectfully have a side chick guys i want you to let me know this is interesting by the way i want you to let me know what you think about this but let's watch this video doctor is there is there a way a man can respectfully have a side chick let me let me let me mm. explain because i know a man who says Maria, i cheat on my wife but i do it i don't i don't i don't put it in her face my wife lives in canada i mean when i'm home in canada i'm 100 percent with her with the children we do i pay the bills when I come to Nigeria, when I go to the UK, US, I have my girls over there who I call and they are there and we do their thing mm. and I and I clean it up nicely. It's neat. Me and my wife cannot look at my phone and say anything. You know, it's very neat. There's a way we do it. So in that way, because he has respect for his wife mm. and he, he cherishes what they have together. So he's doing it in a way that would not make her. So, so, so his wife knows that. Uh, Decently. He's, he's been decent about it. Is that, is that would, would we say that that's acceptable? And we as women, <laughs> we concern ourselves like that. Okay, our men, are, they are doing it in Japan, in Taiwan, not near me. Is that, is that respectfully? I want to ask a question for the woman who says, I would rather stay in the house. Uh, I've worked too hard, I've sacrificed too much, just letting go for some small girl outside to enjoy it. Is there a way to normalize the conversation of having, accepting a side chick and still living in the marriage without being moving on to the next news here we have a man uh, who was who has been sentenced to life imprisonment for the death of a woman seeking spiritual help in fact according to report she needs spiritual cleansing or i think the pastor offered to do that spiritual cleansing the thing is that that's actually wrong with her that she felt like was wrong with her is uh, her inability to conceive uh, she said she couldn't conceive and it's been seven years of marriage that she couldn't conceive and that's why she came to this man and according to reports this man must have raped her you know and it was confirmed I did all sorts and again uh, this lady came all the way from Lagos to Ekiti to meet this man that's how desperate people are you know sometimes it's just simple thing just going to the hospital check out what is wrong with you it might be something that is just little but you go and meet the spiritual father who will some of them will take advantage of you and this happened in 2017 but this man has been sentenced to life imprisonment well according to the prosecution team he invited the deceased from lagos to adoikiti on the pretense that he has a solution to a barrenness on getting to his church at palace of mercy matthew street um, in Adwekiti. the convict hypnotized the victim and lured her into his room he thereafter spread a white cloth on her and ripped her the convict used a white handkerchief to clean the victim's private part and inserted a substance believed to be potash into a vagina he also collected a sum of 50 52 000 naira from the victim the victim's private part got decayed as a result of the substance inserted into it by the convict and this resulted in the victim's eventual death why why insert a potash into somebody's vj like okay guys let us move straight to the next one i'm gonna read this okay this man reviews how he stopped his friend from marrying a lady who claimed to be what she's not my guy who recites in uk sent me a pic of our town girl who wants to marry he praises the girl as god-fearing coincidentally the girl is on my contact list and i view her status i just sent the guy only two videos of the girl twerking it is in clubs the marriage is cancelled sha she is this and she's showing the guy that 
so the young man deserves something better somebody asked how come a guy couldn't view her status but you could Biko make it make it make sense to me and I replied so you don't know that someone can block you from viewing their status guys let me know what you think about this as well moving on to the next one some representative members vote against lifting um of twitter ban people are still they are still using twitter and by the way i would advise if you want to use vpn make sure you use a paid one a free vpn is dangerous honestly yeah use a paid one you're good no problem you're, you're good you're even protected you know you're actually an extra layer to that but yeah just just want to see that and here we have um El Rafai's, um son saying well, now the candle should be locked in a cell with a cow please and the mentioned buari continued there are those that will be upset this hooligan was arrested but will be too cowardly to express it victory for the country may we all continue to progress in unison guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section below okay guys let us quickly read a um, few comments and um, we'll move straight to the question of the day here we have pretty me saying i'm back on your channel after almost a year your video and presentation has improved greatly the way some people post without using brain makes me detest social media well welcome back gdn anders says this one is clearly a fake pastor trying seriously to lie faking um god and god will rain fire on these kind of pastors will use his name in vain only big time dennis um says my sister move on with your life because relationship is not by force it is by choice make your choice now good work bo we love you thank you so much dennis emmy marion says your mind is not in the marriage again go with your mind my dear that man overdo my sister live your life stay off him ike says they are boko haram members in uniform which is made up of boko haram useless nigerian army Buari with Bratai and Northern leaders recruited Boko Haram into Nigerian army in order to use them against Southerners. And Zion says, um, or oh, is it Zion? 11 years, that's a lie. Um, the Empress says, question of the day, that woman doesn't love herself at all. Why beg her husband to return in the first place? Now, what for some women who, good luck to her. Briganti says, um, since she has made her intention known that her mind is no longer in the marriage i think she should just be on her own george williams says she should forgive him and let her mind be at peace uh, mojo says thank you for the update abraham in terms of the question of the day this lady should move on with her life that man hasn't been her responsibility for a long time uh, she should also distance herself from any family member and that tries to tell her to take care of him forgiveness doesn't mean be stupid easy said please my dear friend don't go back shino says what the f is that pastor saying omg this man is one of the reasons people believe to christians shame on him okay guys let's move straight to the question to this question what lesson have you learned from the first half of this year okay what lesson have you learned from the first half of this year i think it's six months already right january february march april may june right july wow the seventh whoops well let me know uh, in the comment section below leave your answers down there thank you so much guys for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video so we'll see you next time peace